Okay, so let's look at how you can use quick picks in scenarios. This quick picks are really useful for those cardiac arrest type scenarios when you want to change things very quickly and easily. I'm going to use ALSI Welcome again as our main scenario to demonstrate this. So let's just start the scenario off and turn on the student screen. What I'm going to do initially is turn on the heart rate and the SpO2. Quick picks are down this left hand column and you can scroll up and down and you can see that there's boxes there. I'm going to concentrate on these parameter changing quick picks and also talk about the text boxes. This first quick pick is outlined in orange and that's the current active quick pick that's on there and it shows that we've got a sinus rhythm and it shows the various parameters that have been preset. By tapping on the next quick pick, it says change values over 10 seconds. So let's do that. We tap on that. And as you can see, this quick pick has been programmed to do trending of the heart rate, the blood pressure, and the SpO2. So quick picks can have instant trending of multiple parameters. The next quick pick is an atrial tachycardia. So let's go into that. And as you can see, that has now changed the waveform and changed the rate. So you can use it to change the images that you're seeing in different waveforms and the rate that they're at. What this next quick pick says is press this to mimic adenosine. So this quick pick is a jumping quick pick. It will stay in a certain state for a couple of seconds and then jump to the quick pick below. I'm going to use this to mimic giving adenosine. So when I tap on this, it will go to a systole, will stay there for three seconds, and then jump into a sinus rhythm. As you can see, it jumps to that, and then goes into a sinus rhythm. So quick picks as well as trending can also jump. The next quick pick, you can see there's multiple waveforms being displayed. So you can use it to show multiple things happening on the screen at one time. This may, may be used to mimic, for sake of argument, intubation when you add end tidal CO2. So let's tap on that. And you can instantly see we've added an arterial line, and now we've got end tidal CO2. We can also use the quick pick to change multiple parameters, the images of, at the same time. So we've got an underdamp trace, poor perfusion, and you can see that the CO2 tr trace has changed as well. How can we change quick picks though? How can we edit them on the fly? That's easy, you tap and hold them. So I'm gonna tap and hold this quick pick up here. And now we see it's gone into editing mode. So now I, I can change what the parameters on there by using the sliders. I'm gonna put the heart rate up and I'm gonna drop the saturations down. Now I just press the X and you can see it's changed the heart rate and saturations in this quick pick. So when I go back into it, you can see that it's changed it. You may have noticed that when you tap and hold, there's a, a bin icon to actually delete the quick pick and a little lightning bolt here. Let's show you what that means with the next one. The next one is a VF. So I'm gonna change the monitor to a defibrillator. And now we can see we're in a, a, in a VF rhythm. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add in CPR. So now we're hiding the rhythm that's underneath there. And while CPR is ongoing, we're going to charge. Now we have an active defib. I'm going to stop CPR. And as you can see, it's still a shockable rhythm, so we're going to press the shock button. And as I do that, it's noticed that and it's jumped to the next box. I'm going to press CPR again to hide that. So that icon here is a defib enabled icon and it allows it to jump to the next box. When I press CPR again, you can see that we've now got a return of spontaneous circulation. So that's all the parameter changing quick picks. I'm just going to show you what the text boxes can do. These are just information that you can use during a scenario. You tap on the gray box here and it turns green. 
to show that that's, that that's been recorded. If you tap and hold, it goes to orange in the negative, and you can make various comments so such as was not done. If you now go to the Tools button and you tap on uh, View Log, you can see that this has recorded all of these events that have occurred, and even the text boxes as well, and you can export this log at the end of your scenario. And that's a quick look at the basic functions of QuickPix.